Surface. This is how to make Volumetric Ground Fog in Unreal Engine 5. And we are going to subtract We are going to plug the distance into the A of the subtract and plug the subtract into the top of a divide. Then off the distance we are going to make a lerp and we're going to plug the distance scalar parameter into the A. We're going to make another scalar parameter called edge hardness and put it into the alpha. And from this lerp node, we will put it into the B of the divide. We'll then create a subtract and plug the divide into the first slot, the A of the subtract. From here, I will we will uh, put this into the add, which we was previously in the used in the noise. And from this add, we are then going to put it into the multiply node we created earlier. I'm then going to also comment this be our distance function. We're also going to create another multiply node and create another constant and plug it into the A. This is the emissive, this will be the emissive color, so we can plug it into the emissive color. And we will also create, convert this to a parameter and call it the emissive color. Now that we're here, we have to make sure we select this main result node. And on the left side of your screen, make sure the blend mode is set to additive and the material domain is set to volume. This will give us an ext extinction node, which we'll put our multiply here into. And we'll also put this multiply into this other multiply going into the emissive color. And we now have ours completed, just like this. And if I go back into the main level, I can go ahead and create a cube, just like that, and scale it up. And over here, we can set the material to our mm underscore volumetric fog. So I'll click the use selected asset from content browser and it will apply it. And as you see right now, it is not showing up. Now this is because the starting values that we first put in, put in aren't, are not perfect. And in order to fix them, you can right click on your material and create a material instance. This I'll call mi underscore volumetric fog. I'll then apply this material instance onto the cube. I'll then open this material instance just like this. So this way we can see what we're changing. And we have all of these parameters. that we can enable and change. We will be setting these to ones that I've already made and you can go ahead and figure out your own also. But we will set the distance to 163, the edge hardness to 0 0.45, the fall off to 0 0.22, 228. We will set the opacity to 1.6, this is 1.65, and we will set the scale to 0 0.001. And this is what it looks like so far. We can also go ahead and change the albedo. This changes the actual fog color, and we can set it to something 
maybe more blue tinted to give it a better look. And you may notice that the fog doesn't look that good and it's not very high quality. To change this, we can go down in here into the console and we can type R dot volumetric fog dot grid pixel size and we can go ahead and set it to something low. One I do not recommend, two to eight is a good value and I'm gonna go ahead and go with three. And you can see this instantly increases the quality of it and you can see it on the walls along with other places and it looks much better. And now in order to make this move, we're gonna go ahead and go to this fog speed function and just add a, a low value, something like 0.2. Now this is still too fast, so we'll go even lower, maybe 0.02. And now we have created a nice rolling fog that will follow your terrain and any object it goes over. For example, we can add a chair from the starting content, starter content and we can bring this chair down and you can see the fog is actually even following the chair. Now one more thing before we're finished is you want to go ahead and select your cube and I would recommend renaming this or creating a base cube for fog as an actor but also to go down into collision on your cube and make sure collision, collision presets is set to no collision otherwise your player will collide with the with the cube and it won't work. And now here we are with our fog and you can run through it, you can hide in it, and it looks good and it will follow your terrain and it looks nice. I did base this tutorial off of a fog article I found on astro.gg. If you want to see other things like this, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss next time I upload. If you have any questions or recommendations, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And otherwise, see you later.